I went on a search for the internet's weirdest cat toys. You can find useless stuff, very useful stuff. The whole world of cat toys is pretty strange. And I just wanted to touch base on some weird ones that I found and order them and see what Kurt thinks of them. Cause he could be the ultimate judge, but yeah. I found three or four pretty good ones that we're gonna test out. So first we got a Suck UK Cat Scratcher DJ Deck Interactive Cat Toys Cat Scratching Post Alternative Cat Accessories for Cat and Kitten Owners Spinning Cardboard Cat Scratcher Indoor Cat Gifts and Cat Supplies. But it's like a DJ booth for a cat, so we're getting it. Next, I got a Snuggly Cat The Ripple Rug Cat Activity Play Mat. <laughs> this one actually makes sense. Um, you know, that can like hide and burrow in it or whatever. It actually does make sense. The pictures shown of them like hiding in the rug, it makes sense, but it's just weird because it doesn't look the most like, what would you call it? Stylish thing for a house, like furniture wise. That's why it categorizes as strange or weird to me. So we got that as well. We got this carrot scratching post, but we're gonna see. It's also just looks really strange to have this in your house as well. So it also qualifies. And last, but not least, we got 12 piece cartoon animals emoticon wall stickers that makes the cat look like they're coming out of the walls. I don't know why you would want this. We're gonna put them on the wall and see what Kurt does, but it's definitely weird, definitely strange. So we got them, I ordered all of these things, and now we're just waiting on them to come in. Also, I spent like $200 for all these things. They better be worth it. It is a few days later. We have all the packages. I'm hoping everything's in here. I ordered four things, so it should be everything. I peeked into this because it didn't say Amazon, so I didn't know what it was, but I do know what it is now. Weird item number one is the carrot. So let's put it together. This thing is huge. It's pretty big. I'll be back when it is put together. All right, my complaint is that they give you an Allen wrench that does not fit. Made it a little difficult, so that takes a point off. I guess we'll see what Kurt thinks about it. This is, it's the DJ booth. It is the DJ booth for the house. No, it is the DJ booth for the cat, for Kurt. I think I have to put this together. It says no glue needed. Here's a closer look at it. Where'd that go? Oh, snap. Where did that go? All right, it is 30 minutes later. I am not kidding, it is 30 minutes later. Um, putting this thing together was so hard. It says no tape, no glue required. If I didn't have tape around these edges and didn't have tape to put it together, it definitely would have fell apart. Um, it actually does look really good. It actually spins. So, that's the DJ booth. We have another box, all right? It's in the same box. Why do I have another carrot? What? So, we are without the rug. Maybe it'll come in soon. That's kind of a bummer, but I will have to record that after I get it in, which will be in this video. All right, I mean, this is very self-explanatory. They're just very weird, and I don't know why you would get them. They're literally just stickers of like cats looking like they're coming out of the wall, so. Oh my goodness, they threw a dog in here. What? So these are the three items we have. We have the giant carrot, the DJ booth for a cat, and we got the wall stickers. Um, we're still waiting on the carpet, but now we gotta see what Kurt thinks about all of these things.
So now we're gonna go over what Kurt thought about each of these items. We're gonna start with the lovely carrot here. Um, he loved it, okay? He actually, at one point, did the actual pose of the picture from Amazon, like of the screenshot of the product photo where he was trying to eat the grass. Kinda cliche of him to do, but you know, to each his own. Uh, he kept on like chewing on these leaves. Like he kept actually chewing on them and like clawing the actual carrot. So I would say five out of 10. It was a whole lot more weird just looking at it online. Once he was actually playing with it, I was like, okay, I see it. But again, it's still, I can't see it in the house or why you would want to have it in your house. So. I don't know. That's the carrot. He did really enjoy it though. Hey, yes sir. DJ Kurt. <laughs> so here we have the DJ booth. He wasn't the most interested in it. He kind of just sniffed around it and I wasn't entirely sure he even knew it was a DJ booth, so I showed him how it worked, did a little spin, and then he gave probably the most epic performance in mankind. <coughs> Again, I could see this being more of a prop. I could definitely use it in more videos, I think. I would say weirdness, probably a 4 out of 10. It definitely went down. Um, but as a cat, he wasn't really interested, so the usefulness of it, I can't really get behind. But, that's the DJ booth. I actually enjoyed this one. Other than putting it together. Putting it together was the vein of my existence. What is that? Next were the cat stickers that go on the wall. I did this one, I did the one that looked like a baby version of Kurt and I had to set it up when he wasn't in the room because I needed the surprise factor. So you know, to see what his actual reaction would be. So in terms of pranking him, it didn't really work as well as I wanted it to. And a main concern of mine was while I was on the wall, I was like, I hope it doesn't leave like residue or doesn't peel off paint, that was a big concern, but it was actually perfect. It did look funny on the wall. Um, Kurt didn't really fall for it. I still don't know why you would want them in a serious manner other than like just for creating something. So it's still pretty weird. I would say seven, a seven out of 10 on weirdness, but um, yeah, that's the cat stickers. So lastly was the rug. It actually came in the same day as I unboxed all the other stuff. It was just later in the day. Didn't really need an unboxing. It was just straight in a bag. So we went straight to letting Kurt try it out. So once I put it on the ground, I, I realized it was two separate pieces. One just lays down, the other one had Velcro on it and you just stick on however you want. After Kurt sniffed it and checked it out, he actually did get in it and I could definitely see how a cat would like it. It's just a lot of different holes and passageways you can make and then scratch on it because it's kind of a Velcro material. The only concerning thing and the only thing that I got it for because I was getting weird cat items is how ugly this thing is. I would not put this in your room or in the living room. It's not the most inviting piece to have. In terms of cat use, it is very good. It's very useful for a cat. A cat loves it. I can tell that Kurt would love it. The weird factors, I'm gonna say seven or eight still just because it's very ugly. It's an, it's an ugly piece. Pretty simple, I was actually impressed that Kurt actually liked it, so maybe I was the silly one. And that concludes weird cat items that I found on the internet. Let me know what else you want me to get. Comment and like. Peace out.